there, I'm Daisy May, and I am Mr. Soap999, and welcome to, um, and welcome back to another episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is day three, and since today is Sunday, turnips are here. This is another good way to make money. Hello, I'm Daisy May. Do you know my Gram Gram Joan? She seems to know an awful lot of folks, so I always ask. Anyway, she said I'm old enough now to help out with the family business. So here I am. Oh, oh god! I didn't use the right. I didn't use the right voice there. Oh, I'd rather tell you what the family business is. It's selling turnips. Have you heard of Sojuan Stock Market? Well, I'll be here every Sunday morning with a fresh crop of turnips. So come say hi anytime. Oh, fooly Daisy May, you forgot the sales pitch. Graham Graham's told me enough times. I don't remember how this goes by now. So, so do you want to know about how John's stock market works? Um, okay, well, I already know how it works, but I think for most people, they don't know how it works. So I'm going to let um, Daisy May here explain. Uh, okay, you can do this. <clears throat> uh, should I use a cute voice for this or? Nah, I I I'll use my real voice. <clears throat> So, turnips. So, turnips are a cute little root vegetable that are good for plucking or stewing. Yeah. Grand Graham always says that the stock market of turnips are for selling, not eating. I always forget. Anyway, if you time things right, they can be mighty nutritious for your bank account. Should I keep going with the explanation? Okay. Now, let's see then. Oh yeah. The whole point of buying our turnips is so you can turn them around and sell them at a profit. Graham Graham always says something about something about them turn up a profit. I don't exactly get it. Anyway, you know Tommy, right? He's always in the market for buying when it comes time for you to be selling. Should I keep going? Okay, this is a really important part, so I'm gonna try my best to explain carefully. You don't want to buy these turnips and keep them for too long. They rot after one week. So if you buy some from me on a Sunday, remember, you gotta sell them before the next Sunday. Graham Graham always says there's nothing worse than a tent full of rotten turnips. But it ain't true. Losing all those hard-earned bells is worse. Definitely. Okay, that's the whole speech. So right now, oh hell yeah. In short, the stock market the um stock market. <laughs> so you buy turnips from Daisy May or from her grand her grandma Joanne in the previous game and then you waited until the shops were buying them at a higher price than what you bought them for and then you sell them. That's usually how you make money. Oh boy. Um okay so about the money making part let's just say that I discovered a method of how to make more money <laughs> and I feel really bad about it <laughs> because this kind of takes advantage of an exploit let's just say that I found a way to duplicate my Nintendo Switch and sell it <laughs> I was oh it's Mabel I was worried when I heard you're all moving to a deserted island but this is nicer than I imagined it's so nice, so nice. even though we haven't been here all for long. In just a short time, Blanders has moved in and we were able to open up the shop. Experience new things every day has been a lot of fun. A lot of fun? I'm so pleased to hear that. Actually, I came today to check in on you and see if you need any assistance with anything. It's our way of celebrating your new shop. You know, we sisters like to help with whenever, wherever we can. Any island ideas come to mind? You're too kind, Mabel. We're just overwhelmed that you even thought to come visit us. Oh, hey, I think... Something come to mind? Well, we still have some logistical challenges to overcome. We depend on mail orders for a lot of our goods. Having a shop should make it a bit easier for us to obtain ready-made furniture and stuff like that, but... We still need clothing. Yes, because we're butt naked. And this is where Mabel comes in. She's gonna be selling us clothes, right? It's not really that difficult for us to get to this island. 
How about if I stop by every so often to sell some of our wares to your wonderful island dwellers? Oh wow, do you really mean that? Our residents will be so overjoyed! So overjoyed? Of course, silly. If we can sell our goods here, it's a win-win situation for everyone. I suppose with that settled, I should head home and work out the details with my sister. Yes, please do. We can't wait to see you here again. Hey, Mabel. What's up? Oh, shoot. I forgot to put my shirt back on. <laughs> it looks like I'm wearing a wife beater. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, soap. Sorry to keep you waiting. Waiting. Thanks to your help, we opened this amazing new shop. Our shop is named in honor of our beloved present Nuke use. Oh, so yeah, it's Nuke Cannery. Welcome to Nuke's Cannery. Well, as you can see, we're offering ready-made ready -made furniture and items that can't be made as DIY projects. Also, in the back cabinet with the tools and other miscellaneous goods, we have wallpaper and flooring. We hope to fulfill all of your shopping needs. Yeah, so, um, about that, once you uh, get the turnips, then, yeah. Mm, there was something else. Oh, right! We are a new shop. Comes three new services. First, let's talk about turnips. I've heard the turnip market is about to take off here on the island. You'll probably see a turnip seller soon enough. We'll buy any turnips you have on hand. So yeah, that's uh, the prices fluctuate. The prices fluctuate depending on the time of day, and they don't buy turnips on Sundays. Second new service involves hot item of the day. The hot item will change every day. If you bring it in to sell, we'll pay you double. You can check the hot item on the day in front of us on the sign in front of the shop or by asking us directly. The last new service, drop off box. Say you're say you're in a hurry or the shop is closed. You can just drop drop off any items you want to sell. Easy, right? We'll pay you later by sending the funds directly to your bank account. I should mention a few things. There is a handling fee, and if we don't accept and we don't accept turnips, and hot items will sell just for the regular price. I think that about wraps it up. Sorry about that. The explanation went off for a bit. How can I help you? Yes, of course. Don't worry about a thing. You can set up your getaway package to include a lovely furnished home. Mm-hmm. Oh, not at all. We'll set up your move-in date at a later time. No, no, no trouble at all. <laughs> no, 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 no trouble at all. Yeah, um, Nuke, you have a lot of paperwork to go through because I recruited, like, Two people to our island. Understood. So, sorry to keep you waiting. I suppose you overheard that call I just got. For some time now, I've been advertising the Lock Lock getaway package. And when you know, out of the blue, we have three interested parties. Yes, yes, it's quite wonderful. More money for me. Um, wonderful. Except for one minor little detail. None of our applicants are too fond of the notion of sleeping in tents, you see. I'm afraid I got caught up in the excitement of persuading them to move here. And I may have promised them fully furnished homes. Three homes, setting aside the land, preparing all the furnishings. It's just too much for one raccoon. Well, technically in Japan, he's a tanuki, but he's been localized here to be a raccoon. You want me to gather the stuffs, don't you? Of course. Of course. <laughs> it most certainly must be fate. Will you help me get those homes prepared? All of them? Of course, I'll give you a good and proper thank you for your assistance. Thank you, thank you. I'll never forget this. Oh, you're going to need some top secret instructions. When you're ready, come talk to me. Use a phrase, what should I do? Agent Nuka. Oh, this is so fun. Yeah, I bet it's fun. <laughs> you don't have to do all the work. Yeah, um, access it once a day, three days in a row, you get mileage points. Fun! What should I do? What should I do? Oh, so you're already ready to help me prepare. Here's what I'm thinking. I really need to start by building a bridge across the river somewhere. With three homes to build, I worry that we'll run out of space on land that is easily accessible. A bridge will open up 
things a bit and make it easier to get the housing plots during construction. Hmm? So, that's why I'd like you to start by crafting the parts for a bridge base. Get your DIY skills ready, and we'll decide on a prime location for the bridge too. He's giving us the local DIY recipe for a bridge? Sweet! Find a good spot and check in on me. Okay, okay. Alright! Oh yeah, um... Blanter's, uh... Museum is under construction. Gonna have to wait a day. Okay, so there are two things that I want to show off... Before I, uh, potentially wrap up this episode. Because there's not really much else to do. I can't, I can't have any fossils assessed, so Blanters can't really help me out. So I'm gonna be keeping the fossils, but I can't have them appraised. But anyway, this shiny spot over here is in the last episode. My friend told me that this spot is actually where you plant money trees. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. This is where you plant money trees. It doesn't matter what shovel you use. So I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Allow me to show one really horrible glitch that can be used for good, or in my case, it can be used for greed. Alright, that's set up nice and easy. Now, all that's left is to call my other persona. Alright, so, yep, I am here. And then Krom. Yes, we're all here. Okay, so this, so this is a item duplicating glitch, and it requires two accounts, which is pretty easy to make. Ordinarily, you're supposed to use a Joy-Con, but since both of my Joy-Cons are busted, I just decided to just use a GameCube controller, and it works. GameCube controller is so good. So with your other character, grab a hold of it, and spin! Spin it! Spin to win. And then while you're spinning, There we are. We got we got the train going. You have to time it really carefully. But yes, this glitch can be used for duplicating any item in the game. So just look at that. <laughs> I put over a thousand. I have a whole bunch of Nintendo Switches. You can even do this. Or maybe not. Oh my god, it works! Alright, so besides money, you can duplicate your favorite bugs. Timmy and Tommy are probably wondering, how the hell did you get all these switches? Dear God. Oh my gosh. That's a whole bunch of bells. <laughs> I mean, Nuke doesn't really care. He... He wants you to... He wants you to get all that money for him. As always, I must offer my hearty congratulations. You cheated me. But you got me money, so I don't care. I suppose it's also good to take a good time to... S take stock and reflect. Yes, yes. I'm sure your home is quite comfy. What if it could be bigger? Oh, I assure you that it can indeed be bigger. A bigger home requires more space for furniture and storage! And now that I've introduced some possibilities, I'll leave it at that. Yeah, you know what I want. Making the room larger, yes. I'm gonna take advantage of this exploit. It's scummy, but I, yeah. It's gonna go straight towards making the home. Roof color, uh, red. Of course it's gonna be red. Alright, thanks, Nuke. Now, uh, what's this ceremony over here? Oh, ho, you want to take part in the ceremony, so? Right now, we like to celebrate the completion of Nuke's candy. Interested? Splendid. Let's get started. Just 
Just like when you complete a public work project. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Locklack's brand new Luke's Cannery. Thank you! Locklack truly started out as a deserted island. There simply wasn't much here, but now it's slowly beginning to develop thanks to the tireless efforts of of soap. None of you guys are helping. I'd like to ask Timmy and Tommy to say a few words as representatives on a new nukes cannery. Timmy, Tommy, if you would please. Thank you, Locklack. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. Brother and I will always work hard to make it the best shop, and I hope we can count on your business. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you, you both. Thank you both. Next, a few words from someone who made who made many valuable con contributions towards seeing Nukes Cannery built. I'm of course talking about Soap, our resident representative. Anything to add? We're amazing. Damn right, we're amazing. Yes, yes, indeed. Thank you for your heartfelt and encouraging sentiments there, so Everyone, please get ready to join in. Join me in in closing the ceremony. Also, those wishing to take a commemorative picture should press the camera button. Yes, well then, with hope for our continued growth to and to celebrate Lock Lack's beautiful Nukes Cannery. Thank you all! This concludes our ceremony. Please do take care on your way home. So yeah, um, I hope everybody's enjoying this game. This is... So, this is so addicting, it's so fun. It's gonna be going in the upper portion part up here. Because the... Uh, wait a minute, where is the... Okay, there's a mini-map. That large portion on the side, that's gonna be strictly for me... Making turnips. I'm making um my proper money generating. It's not for us uh, settling. Ah, uh, soap. Hello, hello. Find a good place. Splendid. Excellent work. Thank you. Then tomorrow we'll have a new bridge up, and it'll be even easier to get around the island. Now that that's out of the way, it's time to start some homes. We can wait. We can wait for construction, bridge construction to finish if you want. Or just ask me, what should I do whenever, hmm? Oh, uh, what about the homes, Nuke? What, you want to start in the homes now? Please take these three housing kits. Nice, thanks, Nuke. With the housing kits I just gave you, you pick out plots for three homes. Then, of course, these homes will need furniture and such. Each housing kit comes with a list of front. Wait. They changed the... They changed the moving requirements. Okay, wow. So you need furniture first before they move in. I was not expecting that. Uh, thanks, Nuke. Oh man, I really hope that these are everything that they need. I'm gonna have to design this a little more proper. My phone is ringing. Hello, that you, Soap? Yes, yes, this is Tom Nuke. How goes the search for housing land? Stupendous. I'm relieved to hear that everything is going according to plan. Be sure to check the box in front of the plot for each home. It'll show the items required for that plot. Interior items should be placed. Okay, so... This... This is mind-boggling that you actually need to make items before they even move in. Oh, boy. Finally, I've completed all three houses. It... It took me so long to get all this, like... Wait, what, what, what time does this say? Yeah, it's 4 o'clock. 
I started at such an early time and I only now just finished. So I want to see if uh, Nuke has any any rewards for me for being a good boy. Ah, Soap, hello, hello. How have things been going since we last spoke? Are you close to finishing up plots and furniture? Goodness, really? Thank you so much for all your hard work. That means the rest is up to me. I can start on our home construction right away so we can welcome our new island residents. I vowed to get this done quickly and get it done right. By the way, I plan on letting the island know about folks moving in or out during my island broadcasts. Oh, so that's how I'm going to find out if people are moving. However, once I know who will move into a certain home, I'll post info on the sign for that plot. If you're curious, check the signs. And that's, and that's that, my friend. You have finished everything I asked of you. Ah, let me give you a token of my appreciation. Yes, yes, this is for you. Left. It's some fencing! You could surround your home to create a yard, or surround flowers to make a garden. Fencing should make it easier for you to create yards or parks or other outdoor areas. I'm positive this will lead to some interesting new landscaping scenes here on Loch Lack. I'm thinking 50 pieces of simple wooden fencing should give you an excellent start. In the future, I'll offer DIY fencing recipes you can get by redeeming nuke miles. The selection will vary, will change daily, and will offer a variety of designs. Check the nuke stop sometime, hmm? Well, I couldn't have done this without you, Soap. That's for certain. Oh yeah, that took a lot. That took like four hours of my life. <laughs> four hours, man. Four hours. Um, let me see. This, oh, what's... This is new. Okay. Buy this. Because I like to, uh, like to work out. Alright, everybody, that is the end of today's episode. Thank you for watching and come back next time. I'm going to do a special video on the item duplication glitch because that's become such a huge thing and since nintendo is most likely going to patch it out at some point in the future might as well have fun with it i'll show you what can and cannot be duplicated and pretty much how to do it so until the next episode everybody and the next day stay fresh and have yourselves a good day